Hi everyone, this is Terry. I wanted to give you an opportunity to learn how to use my design center if you're new to your machine. So I created this quick little lesson using some of the shapes that are built into my design center. And we'll begin by saving this design into memory so that we have it. And I'll just take a picture of it so I can remember it and I'm taking that with a camera and we'll begin. So the first thing I'll do, since I saved it to memory, I can just go ahead and delete it from the machine. You can go to my design center by either going to home and selecting it and it's also right down here on the bottom right of your machine. So let's just go there. Now the first thing we're going to do is get a shape. So I'm going to make sure that I'm set up, first of all, in millimeters, because I like to look at stitch sizes in millimeters. And I'm designing this with the largest hoop. When you design something, you can all, always resize it if you want to, but we'll just go ahead and use the full design page right here. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to get my shapes. And what I did is I selected the flower from the closed shapes right here. So we'll select it and choose OK. Now what I'm going to do is just leave it this size, but I want to move it up on the screen. And we're going to do a couple of things to prepare it. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and get our next shape. So let's get the next shape and we'll find that right here and we'll choose OK. Now let's just move it down. We'll work with it in a moment. So I'll click anywhere on the screen to deselect. And now what I want to do is I want to close in a portion of this design. And I'll explain to you why I'm going to do that. But the first thing I did was use a chain stitch on the outside I use a cute motif stitch around the center of the flower, and then I added some decorative fills in between. So we'll start in the center and work our way out. So we want to start with the center fill. We'll go in and select decorative fills, and what I chose was the circle. You know, this is a time that you're the creator, so you can choose whatever you want. And I'll just take the bucket and pour that bucket in the inside. Now the next thing I want to do is put a stitch on the outside. We'll go into the properties. We'll select from the motif stitches here. And I love stitch number five. So we'll select that. I'll choose a reddish color for it. And then I'll go ahead and choose okay. Take the bucket and what you want to do is to touch that line. Now I'm using my mouse. You can also do this with your finger. You can use your stylus, or if you bought a stylus, you can use it. Now the next area that I want to fill is right here. And I already know that it's open between some of these shapes, but I want to show you what happens if we don't close it. So I'll make the mistake and I'll show you how to correct it. I believe what I did was I chose this rose pattern. So we'll select it and we'll choose another color. And in this case, I think what I'll do is I'll choose, colors are always something that, you know, you really have to decide what color you like. We'll choose something that's different, we'll choose a purple and choose OK. And now we'll take the bucket and we'll fill it. Now you see what happened? It flood filled the screen with that pretty flower. And the reason it did it is because this is not connected. Let me zoom in so you can see that's open. So we have to correct that. That's OK. Just undo. What we're going to do is to get the pencil shape, but we want to go and use a nose sew, select the open pencil shape, and choose OK. 
and just draw a connecting line. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect because, let me zoom in so you can see it. We'll take the hand and let's just move around so till we can find it. It just needs to be closed off because it's not stitching out. Remember, it's called no sew. So we're going to go ahead and draw it across here, but you need to deselect the hand. Let's draw it across here. Now let's move around and deselect the hand and we'll draw that right here as well. Okay, I think I have everything. Let's go back to 200% and we'll take the hand and just take a look. So now it's all closed in, that's great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that decorative fill, take the bucket and go ahead and fill it in. Oops, it looks like I don't have something closed. So that's all right, just choose undo. And let's go to 800% this time. I wanna make sure that I have it closed. And here's the problem right here, I think. There's a pixel open. So I'll select the no sew. We'll just go back and make sure it's still selected and it is. So we'll choose okay. And we'll go ahead and close that off. Okay, I think I have it closed. Now we'll go back to 200% and we'll see what happens. I'll go to 100 just so you can see. And we'll take the bucket and let's try it. Great, it worked. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in on the petals here. Now what I chose for this, I, I chose a, a red color, so I'll choose this red. And I'll go ahead and choose my stitch. And I think I chose stitch 16 and chose okay. Now I'll go ahead and fill each of these in. All right, now we're going to add the outline. On the outline, what I selected was the chain stitch. I'll select a green, choose okay. We'll uh, select teal. You know, this is going to be a colorful flower. We'll take the bucket and now we'll touch each of these petals. Great. Now, it looks like everything is selected, but I just want to make sure that I have my outline right here on the outline of this stitch. I think I do, but just to make sure, I believe the stitch that I selected there was also the chain stitch. So we'll go ahead and, and select that. So now it looks like we have everything selected. All right, now we're going to work with the bottom portion of the flower. Now what I want to do is to remove a little bit of this. So we'll do that first. We'll select the eraser. I'll leave it where it is, except I want a square tip. And you can zoom in if it helps you. I'll just go to 200%. I'll take the hand and we'll deselect the hand. Now let's just start erasing. Now there's another way you can do this that's even faster. Let me show you. Take your selection tool and you can take it and just bring it like that and cut. Now it's gone. And in fact, you could do that on the leaf as well if you're good at it, or you can use this selection tool. And this is where you choose point to point. Now I think I actually made a mistake there. Let me close it and undo. And we'll go back and choose that one again. So it has the first point. Let's select right here. And I think I missed something, but that's all right. We can erase it with the eraser. And we'll do that. And we'll choose close. And now that it's selected, we'll go ahead and we also have to go ahead and select another point because it's not entirely selected. We'll choose cut. And you can see what I miss. We'll just take the eraser and we'll erase it. All right, let's take the hand. Let's see if we can do that again this time and, and maybe be a little bit faster. So. There we 
There we go. And let's choose cut. So that leaf is gone. Let's choose close. Let's go back to 100%. Now we need to select this leaf. This time we'll use it the conventional way. I'm just drawing a box around this. Now, let me show you how to do this. If you didn't have a mouse, all you have to do is take your finger and do that as well. And now what we're going to do is choose rotate. Let's rotate this. And you know, this is something that's a visual. You just need to decide if you like it. We don't want it to touch that flower and you'll see why in a moment. I'll choose okay. And now what I want to do is I want to go to size and I want to stretch it and make it a little bit longer because that stem has to support that flower. So it may not see like, seem like it's moving much, but it is. In fact, what's happening is it's growing up on the top, so I need to move it down just a little. I'll use my mouse so my hand's not in the way. And that looks good. I'll choose okay. All right, now let's start applying stitches to this. What I want to do is to select a green and on the stem, I want to use a new motif stitch that's in the luminaire and that's the stem stitch. All right, so we'll go ahead and take the bucket and we'll apply it to the stem. All right, now what we're going to do is we'll go in and select another color. We'll just select an another green. We'll choose a darker green for the leaves. And this time we'll select a zigzag. And we'll take that with the bucket and apply it to each of the leaves. All right, and we want to change the color to a reddish color. Choose OK and apply that to the berry that's on here. Now what we want to do is to fill in those leaves and that berry. So let's go to our properties for the fills. We'll go to select. And on the leaves, I believe what I chose was this pattern here, somewhat organic. I'll choose a lighter green. Let's go ahead and choose this one and we'll select it and take the bucket and fill it into the leaves. All right, now let's go back to the fill. And I believe that what I chose was something that was like number 12, the, the inside of the berry. I'll choose a pinkish color here and we'll take the bucket and we'll apply it to the inside of the berry. Okay, we're ready to start finalizing our work. All right, now one of the things I want you to realize is you have several of these leaves or petals around your flower and you can select multiples by selecting link. So we're linking them all together because whatever changes we're making, we want it to apply to all of them. What I want to do is to turn off the outline. That's the only thing I want to do with it. I like the appearance of the size, so I'll just choose okay. All right, let's go ahead and let's select. The next thing we have is this uh, pretty little decorative fill that's in the inside here. I like everything about that fill and the way it looks, except I don't want the outline. I'm turning it off. And the reason I don't want the outline is I have other decorative stitches on the outline. Now, this is the center and of the uh, flower, and I want to reduce this to 50% and choose OK. And I also want to turn the outline off. Now you may have to wait a moment because what happens with the luminaire is it's digitizing as we go. So we'll turn the outline off. And then I selected the irregular fill. So we'll give it a moment. And that's called random shift and I chose three. 
And what this will do is it will fill it in with a, multiple sizes in the center. And again, I just think it makes it look a little more organic. So now what we'll do is we'll select next and you might see that it's going back through some of the stitches that you've already selected, but that's fine. Now it is on the pink center here. Now this is small, but you know, it really de depends on how much a detail you want. This is really not the most important aspect of this. So I'm going to leave it like it is, but I do want to turn the outline off and choose okay now the next thing we're going to do is we'll select the leaves we want to link this all together to select all of them the first thing i want to do is to turn the outline off and you may want to reduce the size of the stitches on your uh, leaves it's entirely up to you again this is not the most important aspect, the, the real detail is in the flower. So I'll leave it as it is. Now what I want to do is to go ahead and get to my chain stitches. And what I want to do is to link all of these together. I'll change them from four millimeters and I'll make these larger. I'll make it five millimeters and five millimeters is the largest size and i'll choose okay and i do want to reduce it to three times so let's reduce it to three times on the thickness and what that means is how many repeats it, it will go around and and sew that chain stitch multiple times now I don't want to set yet, and I almost did. So make sure you save to memory periodically when you're working on something like this when you're new, because once you set set it, there's no going back. All right, we're, we want to get to the center to this cute decorative stitch, and we'll leave the size the same size, but we want to flip it. And this really adds a nice detail to it. So we'll wait a moment. All right, we just have a few more things to change. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we want to go to the stem stitch. I'm going to reduce this to five millimeters and I'll link it so we get all the stem stitches. And we'll take that and reduce it down to five millimeters. And choose OK. And our last change is going to be the satin stitch. So when we get to the satin stitch, what we want to do is to link it and we'll change that to three millimeters and choose OK. Now this is a good time to save again and save it to memory. When you save to memory, before you set, you can always come back in to my design center and make changes. So I'll save it to memory and I'll go ahead and set it. All right, here's our design. Now let's watch this play out. Let's go up to the stitch player. And first of all, you see this is going to fit in the largest hoop. You can resize it though. So, for instance, if you wanted to go in and reduce this so it's smaller, make sure that you select the icon here that is going to change the density and everything so it'll affect the entire design. So, see, you can make this significantly smaller if you want. What I'm going to do is choose OK, but then I'll undo because I'm going to leave it this size more or less so you can see it. Now what we'll do is we'll select the icon in the upper right hand corner and what we're going to do is zoom in so you can see it. Let's go to the stitch player and let's see how this would stitch out if we were sewing out this design. So you can see that the first thing it's doing is it's completing the fills around the petals. You can speed it up if you want. And you see that here's more of the decorative stitches. 
And so it's filling out all the decorative stitches and then it'll come around and start sewing some of the beautiful chain stitches and that new motif stitch and stem stitch. So if you're new to your Luminaire or to a Solaris, I recommend that you go in and you just play a little. We do have a member in our group that creates some beautiful designs in my design center. Actually, we have several members who do. This is just a lesson so that you can get comfortable with my design center and understand how you can use the shapes. Thanks everyone and have a great day.